taking advantage of Chrysler's 2009 vehicle presentation at the Chelsea Proving Grounds in Michigan. The team at Auto123.com spent some time behind the wheel of the all-new Dodge Challenger. We tried out a 2008 SRT8 model since the 2009 Challengers on hand were not suitable for testing. Their official launch is scheduled for this fall. This first drive allowed our journalist Amio Bachin to appreciate the qualities of this new Millennium muscle car. The Challenger boasts a successful design that stays true to the 70s car. The lines beautifully combine past and present. The profile shows a classic sports coupe, the only body style offered by Chrysler. The thin, widely stretched grille is flanked by four circular headlights. In the back, the SRT8 sports full-width horizontal taillights, while the deep trunk with high threshold is reminiscent of the original models. The large doors make for front seat access easier. The buckets in the Dodge Challenger are comfortable yet very supportive. The tilt and telescopic steering wheel also allows you to find a good driving position. There's no need to turn a key, just push the button on the dashboard and the 6.1 liter V8 will immediately come to life. This 425 horsepower Hemi delivers powerful accelerations. But the automatic transmission with manual mode wrecks the party. Handling is surprisingly good. Amio Bachin was able to complete a 20 minute session on various by roads as well as a series of tests with other SRT models on the slalom course. The Challenger's comfort level and sure-footedness were impressive. The resulting ride is magnificent with minimal hops on bumpy roads. Kudos to Chrysler engineers. The car is pretty responsive in corners, warning the driver when the rear end is about to slip away. Oversteer is progressive, which allows you to feel the car and adjust the trajectory by fine-tuning the angle of the steering wheel and modulating the throttle. The electronic stability program can either be partially or totally switched off via dashboard mountain control. This coupe handles naturally through twists and turns. As a rear-wheel drive car, the Challenger SRT8 tends to oversteer, but it's also nose-heavy, so if you come into a corner too fast, expect some understeer. For 2009, and not a moment too soon, other models will join the Dodge Challenger lineup as well as the aforementioned six-speed manual transmission with the SRT8. The pistol grip shifter will remind owners of the original. With 420 pound-feet of torque on tap, performance enthusiasts will have their hands and feet full. Meanwhile, the RT model will offer a sweet mix of power and pleasure thanks to a 5.7-liter Hemi producing 375 horsepower with the manual and 370 with the automatic. Finally, the base challengers will use a 250 horsepower V6 engine mated to a four-speed automatic. The SE model will start at $24,995. Regardless of the trim level, the new Dodge Challenger is bound to make big waves. RT models will no doubt prove to be the most popular among buyers. High gas prices might put a damper on the excitement of some, but the Challenger, just like the Mustang, remains a highly entertaining, highly rewarding muscle car.